Howdy folks, welcome back to another episode of Canteen Cup Cooking. Yes, what can we make that's something good to eat out of a canteen cup if you're out in the field. So today, I'm going to try a chicken and noodles, chicken and dumpling, chicken a la king, I don't know. We're trying something new. So today's recipe, we're going to use these packets of chicken, premium white chicken, uh, 2.6 ounces per pouch. I got two of them here. Um, egg noodles, home style egg noodles. Uh, I kind of crushed them up a little bit so it's about an eight, uh, eighth of a bag, uh, maybe a quarter bag. Yeah, quarter bag of, now this is the quart size freezer uh, Ziploc bag. I have some McCormick chicken gravy, uh, point uh, 0.87 ounce and you use one cup of water so about uh, half a canteen cup of water should do and <clears throat> this is for those who are kind of curious uh, uh, talking to magic uh, uh, magic he uh, was kind of curious of what I was uh, using for my uh, soup mix this is uh, I get this off of Walmart's website this is by Mother Earth products it comes in a mylar bag and it's resealable, so you can either make the, uh, 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 what do you call it, brain fart, <laughs> the uh, uh, vacuum seal packets of this, or you can keep this out in the field. And there's two sizes. I got the large one right now with me. So, alrighty, so let me uh, pause this. I'll get this set up, and uh, we'll start cooking. Stay tuned. Okay, as you can see, and pull that up. Uh, it's about a good half canteen cup. We're going to be boiling our waters pretty soon, so I uh, just want to show you how much water I started out with uh, in the beginning. So, hang on. Alrighty, let's see how we are doing. It's kind of windy. Oh, we're getting starting to low, slight simmer or starting to boil. Alright, let's throw in our noodles. Throw it in the cell. It is getting kind of windy, so I may be, whoop, got a jumper. Got a couple jumpers. Alrighty, so I'm not getting a good heat transfer into my canteen cup. Give that a good stir. Alrighty, and let's check it out in just a bit. And we're almost done with the noodles just a little bit more as you can tell I don't know how the camera looks almost like uh, sliders if you will say hi magic hi magic <laughs> alright hang on alright let's check our noodles just get uh, one here Ooh, ow, ah, dropped it. Let's see. A little chewy, a little bit longer. I may be running out of... Put the lid back on, and I'll check it in just a minute. Okay, let's throw in the gravy mix. Uh, first let's see, oh, I'm out of fuel, stand by, alrighty, let's check, yes, I had to refill my alcohol stove, now let's add the gravy, and this is McCormick chicken gravy, we're going to add the full packet, because I like the, my gravy, mm -hmm. oops, and here I am making a mess, alrighty, Throw that there. Let's do a, give it a good stir. Ooh, I can smell it. May not look good. Let's see if it. Oh yeah, now you can smell it. Lumpy gravy. It says to use a whisk, but we're using a canteen cup stove. We just want some thickener and some flavoring. Okay. I'm gonna need two hands. 
hands with this. Now she's starting to thicken up. She'll thicken up even more with the next batch of ingredients. Oop, almost had an accident. Not good. I'm trying to do this around the tripod. Not the best. Now we're going to add our chicken, two pouches, because why not? Lots of protein, also give it a little extra moisture. And I believe this is already pre-cooked, yes it is pre-cooked, great, awesome, it's fabulous. This is definitely a two-person meal. Or one if you're really, really hungry. And I think this is about it. Now last, add the last ingredient. We're still in frame. Yes, we're still in frame. Awesome. And this is about three tablespoons of that vegetable soup mix. There's no seasoning in here. Give that a stir. And the vegetables, since they are dehydrated, will soak up any other moisture in the mix. And the gravy will continue to thicken up as it cools. Okay. Get it all stirred in, get it all in there, and let it simmer for a little bit. Oops, no bueno. Okay. Ooh, that is thick. Mmm, that's thick. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to take it off the fire and let it sit and cool down so stay tuned okay one thing I want to add um, uh, while this is uh, cooling down so we can try it out uh, this is a standard consumer grade Trangia alcohol stove I used heat this gas line antifreeze and water remover a lot of uh, backpackers are that use alcohol stoves swear by this this is a 12 fluid ounces um, I'm estimating I got about that much in the bottle left maybe less probably down here um, I filled this almost all the way to the top to get the water boiling uh, it is somewhat windy so that may have had an issue with uh, getting that stuff uh, boiling um, then when I had to add more uh, fuel I did it again uh, up to that line again and I have a little bit left. Let me hold it level. So, just a little bit of alcohol left. So, um, this will be the most fuel consuming uh, dishes so far that I'll be doing. So, let's uh, give that, uh, give this more time to cool down, rehydrate the vegetables, and we'll see how it tastes. And joining me is Uman of the Uman channel. Hello everyone. It smells good. Yeah, it smells really good. So is this the uh, 
freeze dried? No, no, what? no. Uh, it'll be on the video. You didn't watch it, but. Uh, How can I watch it when you're making it? <laughs> what do you think? It's pretty good. Cool. Not bad for a first time. No, not at all. Let's give that to Christine. Dish some up for magic. The chicken's a little tough, but the vegetables rehydrated just fine. Oh, okay, good, good. I was what kind a, of chicken was that? Um, it's the uh, chicken that's in a pouch from Walmart. Okay. Or uh, it, I forget what it, uh, it's at great value. Okay. Here's for magic, and the rest is for me. Yum. Carrots are even a little crispy. Nice. Oh, you know, wow. It, it's not the chicken that's tough. It's the vegetables. They're not quite rehydrated. Okay. Probably. It stays fine like that, but the peas are a little chewy. Yeah. So probably another 10 minutes uh, rehydrating. Yeah. Add a mm -hmm. little more water. Let them rehydrate for another 10 so it doesn't dry the rest down. Yeah. Mm. So the right amount of chicken. So two packets of chicken. Uh, quarter baggie of crushed uh, homestyle egg noodles. Mm. Packet of McCormick chicken gravy. And I squirt some bottom on a canteen cup. No. You say squirt? Yeah, I got chewy crunchies. <laughs> That's the dangers of cooking with a canteen cup. Yeah. Got those nooks and crannies. All right. I call it a success. Yeah. So there it is, folks. Canteen cup cooking in the field using heat, your canteen cup stove, a lid, and those simple ingredients. And you can make a very good meal, a very hearty meal out in the field. So like, comment, subscribe. Go to the R Syndicate. <clears throat> Check out Uman of the Uman channel. Of course, John of the Prepared Mind channel. Who without him wouldn't be here without we wouldn't be here without him. So uh, Kaz of the Fourth Dimension channel, uh, Vaughn of the Backcountry Preps, Detroit, Detroit Detroit Prepping, so many more. Please check it out. And uh, other links to my other channels are down in this in the description below. And folks, prep like your lives depend on it because it does. Take care, everyone, and God bless.